and welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. You know, about a month and a half ago, Virginia and I went to a function for the Chamber of Commerce. It happened at the State Archives Department. And, you know, in Montgomery, we're very much tied in with the military. One of the speakers that evening was a general from Maxwell. He had some very nice and interesting things to say. And Virginia and I looked at each other and said, we need this young man to be here on the show. And he's here today, Major General Stephen Quast. And General you. Quast, you are the commander of the Curtis E. LeMay Doctrine, Development, and Education School out at Maxwell Air Force Base. That is correct. Yes, and, sir. you know, we talk about Maxwell. It is the Air University. It is truly a university, isn't it? It is. In, in all the classic senses, it is a university. Uh, but it plays another critical role, and that is it is also the center for leadership, uh, and uh, the center for the intellectual work that goes behind the strategy of our Air Force mm -hmm. and the ability to stay relevant to the nation. And that's important in this day because things are changing. Uh, that's right. Things are changing. And, uh, you know, uh, what I'd like to do, though, is uh, kind of repeat some of the things I talked about uh, when we met the first sure. time, and that is the opportunity for the future. So as uh, people in Montgomery embrace the military, as they always have, uh, uh, more so than just about any other place in this nation. Uh, they, uh, they have helped uh, birth the Air Force here mm -hmm. at Montgomery. And in between the wars, they helped to create an uh, air power strategy that we've uh, benefited from as a nation for so many years. The next great frontier is the information age. You know, as the world has moved into cyber and the speed mm -hmm. of the world turning, where events shape us so quickly, uh, we as a military have to embrace that frontier and develop the strategies and the theories behind how we use information as a tool of national power in a world that is so different than it was back in World War II. Montgomery can be that place. It can also, in, in addition to being uh, the cradle of the Civil War, That's the right. cradle of civil rights and the cradle of civil, uh, civil aviation, Montgomery can be the cradle of information dominance in the world such that our America can shape events before they shape us. Mm -hmm. And we have it because of what we have at Gunter with DISA and uh, Space Command and the Air Force. We have it at Maxwell with the thinkers, the strategists, and the theorists uh, uh, behind how tools of national power are designed so that our president and our Congress have options and America can be the beacon of freedom in the world where no evildoer can take away our ability to bring peace, prosperity, predictability uh, to, to the world so that good economic benefits can flow to every nation in the world. Cyber is the next great frontier. We can be the leaders of that, and someday we can add the cradle of cyber capabilities mm -hmm. to the legacy that Montgomery brings to this nation. To the list, yeah. General Quas, when you say we're moving into cyber warfare, give our audience a definition of that. Yeah, well, cyber warfare is something that uh, the nation is still struggling with uh, because it is so different than anything else we've encountered. The reason it's different is because it it can have implications for economies. It can have implications for the freedom of people's information. Um, you know, you, you do something in cyberspace and it can have impacts around the world, financially, politically, uh, uh, you know, and in, in socially. So uh, the policies behind how we uh, deal with cyberspace, uh, the, the tools we use and the way we partner sh with our friends and our allies in this world is very different in cyber and that's why it takes great work, great thinking to make sure we get it right because we want it to be something we can use as a tool for good, uh, a, a tool for peace and prosperity, not a tool to destroy, not a tool uh, to disrupt. Mm -hmm. This is about building partnerships in this world using cyber and uh, that's going to take some work as we figure out how we do that. Talked about with all the sequestration and with, of course, BRAC, with, mm -hmm. with base closings, mm -hmm. I, I think that it's hard to even begin to emphasize how important the support of Maxwell and Gunner right. is, not just to our community and the surrounding areas, but to our military and our security for the entire nation. We're no longer just Montgomery or just Alabama or just any, not even the United States. 
right. it's global and and yeah. we don't you know we we can't be isolated it's no, true you and can't. and it's not just the military that's here that creates this opportunity it is the academic institutions mm -hmm. uh, that are here in Montgomery and the connections around the world uh, you know, you you uh, you have uh, such a grouping of talent here that understands cyberspace. Right. That this is a place where the next frontier, mm -hmm. cyber, can be harnessed and controlled in a way that brings prosperity and peace to America and its future. That vision has to start somewhere, and I think it ought to start right here. Well, I agree, and I know yeah. Jack and I yes. have constantly pushed two major things: education and get educated and vote yes <laughs> there you go and Absolutely. that goes back to what you had previously said that's right in order to do that you've got to be informed yeah, that's right so thank so, you so thank much you. for being with us and thank you for all you've done through your career um, thank you to all of you in the military out there and to all of you who support them and we'll be right back